Monday night football. The Dallas Cowboys travel to take on the New York Giants today. I have a favorite player prop, spread pick, same game parlay, and a first touchdown score in this game at plus 1400 odds. If you're new to the call on our chat channel, my name's Austin. If you want to hit that subscribe button down below, certainly would appreciate it. Hit that like button too. And I'm curious who you guys like to win this contest. I'll obviously give my pick in a couple minutes, but let me know who you guys like. Now, before I hop into my favorite player prop, I have two quick notes. Number one, if you're ever interested in signing up for a new sports book like DraftKings, Caesars, BetMGM, FanDuel, you name it, and you want some exclusive risk-free bets or deposit matches, make sure you take advantage. Use the dimers.com slash COS link in the description. And number two, if you want to join our chalkboard, it's a group discussion app completely free. We can obviously celebrate some winners, hopefully chat about our plays, all of that stuff. Definitely go join it. I'll see you guys in there. The link's in the description. Go join. But let's hop into my favorite player prop for this contest. I think you might have heard this guy. Saquon Barkley. We're taking us over 23 and a half receiving yards, minus 114 on FanDuel. Now, I also looked at Barkley's over and rushing plus receiving yards, but I like the receiving yards. I think the edge is there. And you look at week one, Barkley, six receptions on seven targets for 30 yards. So obviously hitting this over. And week two, Barkley, only three receptions on four targets, 16 yards. So didn't get it done, but so at least was getting targeted, which is what we like to see. Now, the Giants and their new head coach, Brian Dable, pretty clear, trying to get the ball in Barkley's hands and do you blame them? If you look at the other pass catchers that the uh, the Giants have to offer, they got Kenny Galladay doing nothing, collecting a paycheck. They got Kadarius Tony, who's doubtful for this game. Wendell Robinson, the rookie, out for this game. You look at Sterling Shepard, David Sills, Richie James. Those guys will all be out there, but they don't really have a lot of playmakers. And you look at the other side of the coin. Dallas Cowboys are going to be sending Michael Parsons right at Daniel Jones's head. I don't think you know, Brian Dable wants to see Daniel Jones running for his life. So I imagine they throw some quick screen plays, maybe to Barkley, get the ball out of out of Daniel Jones' hands, into Barkley's hands, let him do something with the ball. And he's perfectly capable of doing it. You saw week two when the Bengals versus the Cowboys, they had Joe Mixon. He had 26 receiving yards, hitting that over. Like a week one when they played the Buccaneers, the Cowboys, that is. You saw Leonard Fournette and Rashad White, only 17 receiving yards combined, but... They did have some receiving yards. They had some receptions. So the guys were open. They just weren't able to make people miss. And Barkley, an elite guy with the ball on his hand since 2018. He's had three or more receptions in 37 games. He's hit this over in 29 of them. So I think they're going to quickly target him. And if the Giants do happen to get down in this game, they're going to have to throw it some more. And we'll see him probably targeting Barkley out of the backfield. We know Barkley, one of the most talented running backs in the league. He looks fully healthy from back from that ACL two years removed from then. So I really do think Barkley is going to be in for a pretty good day today on Monday. And he's perfectly capable of taking one catch. He can only get one reception. He doesn't need three. He could take one reception, 70 yards or 25 yards, cash this over. I really like Barkley to get it done. I think the Giants are going to load the box make them throw it and I think Barkley will be able to get some in their receiving game so count me in Monday Night Football expect the stars to show up and there's no bigger not a lot of bigger stars in this game than a guy like Saquon Barkley we're taking this over 23 and a half receiving yards now let's move on to my spread pick and like I said let me know who you guys think is going to win this one because this one's sketchy I'm taking the Giants and I'm just taking the money line I'm not going to take the spread and lay minus one and a half I'll just take the money line the difference in value is really nothing so minus 115 on BetMGM now if you want to go for some value on FanDuel, you can go for maybe the Giants to win by 1 to 13 points. That's plus 160. Pretty decent odds. But let's look at the Cowboys because last week, if you watched our week two best bets video, took the Cowboys on the spread against the Bengals. They're like plus eight and they easily won that game and they covered that spread easily. They didn't win it easily, but they got it done. And I think this is a clear letdown spot for Cooper Rush and the boys. I mean, they're obviously without Dak Prescott still and Michael Gallup might be returning. Not worried about him, but Cooper Rush obviously played great last week. Oh, great. Might be a you know a stretch, but he played well enough to win the game. And if you look at it, it's hard to prepare for a backup QB. That's what the Bengals had to do. They had to prepare for Cooper Rush. They hadn't, didn't have any film on him, similar to the year previous to that. They had to prepare for Mike White of the Jets. Not a lot of film you can prepare, but now the Giants have a full week of film to prepare for Cooper Rush. Know, what's make, know what makes him uncomfortable. You think about the Cowboys. They scored 14 points in the first quarter last game. Only were managed to score six the rest of the game. So it's like the Bengals kind of figured out their defense and how to stop this Cowboys offense led by Cooper Rush and were able to shut it down. Giants also lost nine of the last 10 on the cow, to the Cowboys. That's got to be pinned on their bullet point, pinned on their bulletin board. I mean, they got to come out here and show some, you know, it's divisional showdown. These guys obviously don't like each other. I think the Giants come out here and win this game. They're 2-0 already. And while I wouldn't say they're, you know, a 3-0 ball club or they're not as good as their record shows, they at least are playing with a lot of heart, a lot of energy under new head coach Brian Dable. And that's what I want to see. I don't necessarily know the motivation of this Cowboys team. I think they're happy getting that win last week, but I don't know if that momentum carries over on the road in this one. So I think Daniel Jones can have a pretty decent day and has crazy as it is to admit it. 
I trust Daniel Jones more than Cooper Rush. So I think the defenses are more or less pretty equivalent. They obviously don't have a Micah Parsons on their side for the Giants. But I like the Giants to get it done. Taking their money line, hopefully they get it done. I'll take it minus 115. You can take the spread if you want, but I'd rather just take the money line in case they somehow win by one point only and then you lose the spread if you took minus one and a half. So count me in on the Giants. It's going to be a sketchy game, a low over under. Going to stay away from that over under because I don't know what the heck is going to go down in this one. I think whatever team wins the turnover battle wins this game. So give me the G-Men, Giants money line. Count Let's move on to the same game parlay. We're going with the same recipe of success from Thursday Night Football when we smacked a plus 471. We're going with Saquon Barkley, anytime touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott, anytime touchdown. We're taking an alt over under at 51 and a half points, taking the under in that one. Now, you look at these guys, I mean, that's what we did exactly on Thursday Night Football. We took Najee Harris, Nick Chubb to get in the end zone and all under in a cash pretty easily. Now, I don't really know where to go. I don't want to take a lot of alt rushing or receiving yard lines because we don't really know what's going down with a lot of these teams. And I'll give you a hint at another player prop I did consider in a second. But I think Saquon Barkley didn't score last week, scored in week one. Maybe he's due a bounce back, scores in week three. I think he certainly can get it done. If they get it close to the goal line, he's their guy. They don't really have a backup to steal carries from him. So Saquon Barkley, like I already talked about, I think he has a good receiving yard game. Maybe he takes one in with the receiving yard. Maybe first play of the game, he takes one to the house and he cashes a touchdown and his receiving yard prop. I love that, but I don't think that's going to happen, but I do think he can get a one yard touchdown or something like that. I think it's fully capable of Saquon Barkley. If someone's going to score on the Giants, probably going to be Saquon. Now, as for Ezekiel Elliott, I know people are obviously, you know, not sold on Zeke, but more of the story when they get in close, they're going to give it to him, not Tony Pollard. And Ezekiel Elliott is good enough to punch one in from the one yard line. I don't see them rushing, well, sneaking it with Cooper Rush, although that would be kind of cool. But I think Zeke Elliott has a chance. And if they get in close, he's certainly capable of getting it into the end zone. I don't know if he has a touchdown on his name for the year, but I, I mean, it's Zeke Elliott. He scored touchdowns plenty of times in his career. He probably has good games against the Giants. So I like Zeke Elliott to get in the end zone. And then anytime, you know, the all under 51 and a half points. Just taking a stab at this. I don't think this is a super high scoring game. If it is, then maybe these guys get a touchdown. Maybe we scratch by by the skin of our teeth with an all under at 51 and a half points, but that'd be like a 31 to 20 game. And I don't know if these deep, these offenses are capable of scoring that many points. If they are, go crazy. But I like that alt under. I like those two legs. It's plus 600 odds. I think we got a good chance at it. It's a stat. We're taking a stab at it. Look, let me know your favorite same game parlay in the comments because it was tough to cook up one for this game. I wanted to put some alt receiving or rushing yard lines. Couldn't find anything. Now, for my first touchdown score, it's going to get ugly, but I like this one. If it's not going to be Saquon or Ezekiel Elliott, better be this guy. Daniel Jones at plus 1,400 odds on BetMGM to score the first touchdown. Now, yes, this does not count. I know people might think, oh, if he throws a passing touchdown in, it counts. No, that's not how it works. He needs to run this one in. And I could see maybe they get to the one-yard line and the Cowboys run commit. They put everyone on the line and say, we're running and we're stopping Saquon and maybe Daniel Jones sneaks it in. Or maybe it's like a six to 20 yard scamper. You don't really know what Danny Dimes. He can just take it and run, start running for it. He's a fast QB. He can sneak it into the end zone and get in there. And before I even dive into it, I actually think Daniel Jones has a good chance at hitting his over in rushing yards. It's 26 and a half. He hasn't hit it in games one and two, but the rushing attempts are there. He's had like six and 10 rushing attempts through two games. He's rushing at a good amount. They're designing some runs for him. They're doing some, you know, read option stuff. So it wouldn't surprise me if Daniel Jones gets into the end zone here, whether it's any time touchdown or the first touchdown score. I mean, Daniel Jones has shown some capabilities to run the ball before. And I think a sneaky play is taking him to lead the this game in rushing. I have no idea the odds on it, but probably crazy odds, like plus 3,000. I think Daniel Jones has a good rushing game. I don't know why, but I think he has a good chance. I think Micah Parsons running from one side. You see Daniel Jones running for his life the other way. He's perfectly capable. He's athletic enough. We've seen him. Obviously, there's that infamous play against the Eagles where he had like a 75-yard touchdown run and then slipped and fell on his own. But I think Daniel Jones scored the first touchdown. I mean, what? Plus, eight, plus 1,400 odds. I think it's worth a stab at it. So I'm going to sprinkle on it. Don't put a full unit. Sprinkle whatever unit size you want. We'll be rooting for Danny Dimes to run one in. Unless if it's not him, it better be Saquon Barkley scoring the first touchdown. So that's going to do it for this Giants-Cowboys game. My favorite player prop, obviously, Saquon Barkley, over 23 and a half receiving yards. My spread pick, Giants money line. No spread, just take their money line. Safer. And then obviously, same game parlay with Saquon, Zeke, and the under. Obviously, we appreciate you guys for always tuning in. It's going to be an interesting game to watch, but I appreciate you guys always for watching these videos. We're going to have more coming the rest of the season. So hit that subscribe button, hit that like button too. I'm Austin. I'm signing out. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.